let us continue over here and what we have done previously is we have created our route right and this route will help us to navigate to the different route so currently we have only one route so what we will do now is we'll go to our home screen and i think we have to go to the add employee screen because we need to add a form over here so let us create a form over here so uh, here the return type i think i will just return a scaffolding of or scaffold over here and it has a app bar and app bar let us create the app bar and first of all i think currently i don't need the action and i will need a title first of all and that title will be of a text sorry text and that text would be we will call it as a add employee right and then when we once we have that we will center the tile to set it to true over here and i will set this ones to const over here because uh, we want to have a constant over there right and then we can also have inside this action bar i can have an action and action i will just set it as a icon button over here and this icon button will take on press event as well as the icon so let me just arrange it properly and so what i will do is i will add a on press event so this will call as a function and then we have this one over here right and i think i have to remove this one and the icon i need to pass the icon from here and icon start the i can pass let's say save or something save right yeah and that should be also of the const right and here we have a to do something and this means that we have to, to do something over here and then what we will do is that should be fine and the next step is i need to add a body after here scaffold to have a body and body i will just pass the column over here and i'm not going to explain anything about the columns and other stuff and i hope you guys are already familiar with it so inside this column we have to pass the children first of all and children we can pass the multiple we get over here so what we will do is we'll in order to create a form we need a text form field so we have to make use of our text uh, form field right text form field and this text form field uh, let me arrange it properly so this text form field what we have to pass is we have to pass controller and this controller will help us to get and set the value from this particular text form field currently we don't have it just leave it as uh, empty and i can also pass the keyboard type so if you want to pass pass the specific type of input type so i can pass the text uh, in text input type dot i have a date and time email address so i think i'll just pass it as a name first of all over here and then after we can also do some decoration and i can decor the um, okay so i think decoration let me leave first of all and let i will show you how to add it so let us add it before uh, let us create a text form field and see the default one without any decoration and i can also add a validation over here so this validation will take a function parameter of a value uh, value value and this value we can get it to value so we can write some condition over here to check whether this value is something or not right so we can write something like uh, if the right so if the value over here that we are getting if it is of a null right so if it is of a null right then or or we can also say that value third is of something like um, length or it's empty so you can just pass it over here and then we can just return something over here like the 
you can just see a uh, user name sorry user name cannot be empty right so this is the one that we can return from here otherwise it will just pass right so if the value is not null is null or the value is empty then we can just uh, return this one so i think you can just remove the null type and just check for it's empty uh, i think it's okay so with the property is empty cannot be unconditional access because the receiver can be of a null so i think that's good so we should add a null check over here and uh, then i think after that other things i think we don't need it so what i need is i need a controller so controller so let's go on to the top over here and add some controller over here so i'll text editing controller that i'm going to need it and i'll just call it as a controller for now and which is of equals to text uh, editing controller right so that is the one what is the suggestion that we get and i can just make it as a final field for now and uh, what we will do is so i can pass this particular controller over here right so controller and now if i try to run my application so let me go to run and just i think i'll just select the android device first of all and this is currently running so what i'll do is just go and run my application without uh, any debugging and the application currently is looks like it's a blank screen so what we will do is we'll go over here in the home screen we will add the scaffold over here and then we'll add the app bar and app bar has the app bar that we are going to use it and we'll just add the not the action so we'll just add the title and title we'll just give it as a text and the text will be of the home and this would be of a constant const and then we have a, a center tile title to true right and then after that we have a body and this body will just return the uh, let us return the column for now and here we will return the children and that should be fine and here i'll just close this one and after this column what i will add is a floating action button floating action button i will add an extended one because i can add the icon and the text at the same time i can also add the icon so icon and the icons dot i can just add a add something like that and just make sure it's a constant because this is a constant value we are not going to change it so let me add a function on the unpressed and here we will call the label so it should be of our text so this text we will just pass some value so let's say uh, uh, uh let's call it as a uh, add employee and this should be also of a const right so we have to create a const and here when we click on the unpress we so let me just try to run the app and now you get that we have this right so add employee so when we click on this one we should go to the another page or the another route which is of add employee so we have already added that particular route generator over here and we need to call this add employee right so let's go back to our home screen and here we will call the navigator right so n-a-v-i-g-a-t-o-r navigator then dot and i need to push the name route so here i need to push the name route so there uh, you can see that push name takes us the the 
the build context and the string route name and the object if you want to pass any argument so currently we are not passing any argument so i'll just call the particular route so what is the route that was so this is the route that i need to call right just copy this and i need to paste it over here and that's it so let us try to go and okay just try to rebuild it and if i click on here it will take us to the add employee so this is our the text editing file that we have so if i go back to my add employee so we have this particular uh, text input layout over here so we need to just fix the padding so uh, what i will do is i will add the just click on here and wrap it with the padding so i'll just add on edge insect dot all means that on the all side that we have top bottom left and right should have a same which is of eight right so it's a bit okay and now we need to add some formatting to this particular text editing layout so that is the one that we i was talking about before that is a decoration so let us add the decoration of a const variable of the input uh, decoration sorry i n not the i m i n p input decoration input decoration right so i think this is the one and uh, here we need to pass some of the parameters so first of all i'll just pass the border and border we will outline outline input border sorry out l i n e outline so outline input border so this is the one that we need to get and also i will add the label and label i'll just pass the text and the text value that we are going to pass it is of the now let's say this is of the user name right so that should be fine and if i just uh just hot reload and then you can see that we got a nice beautiful looking uh, this is the one that we have added just a decoration right so now what you can do is you can also do something better over here just you try to just go and format it and yeah i think that's all and the next video we'll go and see how we can uh, customize more and try to add some more fields over here till then have a great day